Hello, in this video we will discuss about the manufacture of wrought iron to cast iron. So the wrought iron is the best iron as compared to the cast iron. So there are different process to make a cast iron, uh, wrought iron. So the, it is manufactured from cast iron by puddling. That the puddling furnace is used for it. So whole detail we will discuss about the puddling mechanism and in the puddling furnace to understand the making of wrought iron. So here we will discuss about the basically the introduction of iron. So what is the iron when we will take the iron from the uh, from the earth which that is in the form of iron uh, iron ores. So there the important ores of iron is magnetite. So the magnetite is made up of iron plus oxygen. So the oxidized iron is uh, on the other hand hematite which also oxidized oxygen containing iron and limonite which is that is also water molecules attachment with the iron. So here is the uh, chemical formula is showing that magnetite, hematite, limonite which that is the chemical formula. On the other hand there is a commercial form uh, we will discuss that is the different classification of iron on the basis of impurity and their uh, their uh, their quality. So that's the iron is has known uh, since prehistoric days 600 BC. So in the commercial forms is the peak iron or cast iron which contain carbon 4.5 percent. On the other hand that is the wrought iron which contains 0.12 to 0.25 percent carbon containing iron. So the steel is contains 0.25 to 2.5 percent carbon. So important to know that steel is the best type of the iron because it's contain less amount of the carbon on the other hand that's a right iron is more best as compared to the pig iron so the wrought iron contain basically 0.3 percent carbon and other impurities known as uh, silicon uh, basically uh, sulfur 0.2 percent to 0.15 and manganese up to 0.25 and phosphorus is 0.04 to 0.02 percent so that's other impurity is also add in it uh, by the naturally so here we will discuss about the puddling furnace which that is look like this that structure of the puddling furnace which contain here is the cast uh, here is the basically lining hearth which contain fe2 fe2o3 which is the oxidized iron on the other hand that is looking like that the lining is the uh, lining in the blue color shows that and the fire is containing uh, fire is used for heating the gas and gas is made up of oxygen oxygen are present and the upper side is a low roof which that is compressed the uh, gas hot gas to ward the lining hearth so here is the cast iron which that is melt uh, to produce that is melting melting of the cast iron which hematite lining fe2o3 melted by hot gases so the hot gases is basically melt the uh, cast iron and supply oxygen uh, necessary for oxidation of carbon and sulfur being volatile escape out at high temperature so it means uh, carbon containing and carbon uh, containing iron which that is fe2o3 is also sulfur and manganese and phosphorus containing ores are present in the lining hearth so here is the structure 
so this impurity will be separate to increase the uh, quality and purity of the iron is uh, done by this furnace is known as the puddling furnace so here we will discuss all equations and all mechanism for the separation of the iron so here is the uh, low roof and door which door is contain a um, puddle by iron that is called called rebels which the rebel is handled by the human and this can be uh, move the iron uh, which that is melted iron to separate the impurity separate the uh, waste product of the iron so here is the fire which that is increase the hot condition increase the melting point so the here is the oxygen containing hot gases will be produced by the fire and this oxygen will uh, trap with the carbon and sulfur to contain a uh, here is the gas will be produced so upper side here is the chimney which that is allowed to release the gases so when gases will release that is in the form of carbon dioxide carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide and these gases will be separate from the iron and the carbon are present in the iron which trap with the oxygen to release that and it means the carbon and sulfur will be released in the form of gas so the gases will release on the other hand the other impurity will be downward the other um, other waste material which that is a separate in the downward in the form of uh, liquid or solid is known as the slags the slags contain different impurities also we will discuss in this video so here gas will be released uh, when carbon and sulfur contain with the oxygen so here i am drawing again the lining hearth which contain a uh, pure uh, iron will be separated and slag will go downward and that's down that is the uh, downward moving and storing the slags as a byproduct and that is the waste on the other hand here is the gas will be produced by the three uh, carbon containing first of all we will discuss about the equation so it's balancing balanced equation is here which that's carbon is contained with the iron oxide that's the oxid oxides of iron to produce iron and carbon monoxide and three molecule of carbon monoxide with the one carbon containing on the other hand here is the three sulfur which that is attached with the iron oxides to produce four iron molecule a uh, four iron atom plus three sulfur dioxide so that is the mechanism of the gases will be produced by this equation on the other hand there is slag formation is here we will discuss but here first of all uh, that's the oxygen so here is the oxygen will be uh, produced uh, and that's trapped with it so on the other hand that is the oxygen is also present in the iron and that's iron is attached with the uh, oxygen to produce carbon monoxide so on the other hand that is here is the silicon which that means the silicon is uh, the as a store in the slag with the iron oxide ox oxide will be uh, attached with it to produce four molecule of iron and three silicon dioxide on the other hand manganese will be attached with the oxygen which that are present in the air to produce mno magnesium oxide and silicon dioxide is here which that is again will be produced and that is the basically silicon uh, dioxide will attach with the mno to produce mnsio3 which are magnesium silicon trioxide and that is in the form of slag which that is moved downward because it's contain a high density as compared to the iron or another mechanism so here the uh, 
basically uh, four phosphorus which that attach with the with the uh, inorganic phosphorus which attach with the oxygen to produce phos uh, phosphate P2O5. On the other hand, P2O5 will be this P2O5 will be add with the again iron to produce FEPO4, which that is also slag, and that is known as the iron phosphate because the PO4 will contain that phosphate group attached with the iron and to produce a slag, which that is move in the downward. So the next we will discuss about the mechanism for the separation of iron uh, from the um, from the um, raw uh, from the cast iron to produce wrought iron. So that here is the basically uh, puddle puddle uh, uh, rebels are present, which that is a doer, and here is the uh, production of the iron after the separation. So after the separation of gases and after the separation of slag that here is the produced the melting point will be high and there's a semi solid high temperature um, high temperature hot uh, ball like structure will be produced which that will be separated by it from the doer. So here the first mechanism is the melting point rises and semi solid mass will be produced. On the other hand, that is the slag will be formed and move downward. On the other hand, amazing thing is that that the after removal of impurity that is the containing iron is original. And here is the carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide and other gases will be released on the basis of compound which that are present in the impurity. So that's here is the second mechanism. So here is first and here is the second mechanism for releasing it for separation of complete iron. So when uh, separate the iron there's a semi solid high temperature hot ball like structure semi solid which that is also present the slag uh, still here and that's the basically squeeze more slag by the using of hammer to uh, to make a sheet and that sheet will be release the slag during the hard time so here mechanism we can we can understand as well this iron can use for the making wires for making some new impurities uh, some crockery etc which that is the different types of things which can produce from this iron because it's too much hard and non-flexible unlike uh, uh, steel so that is uh, can be made for different things for the body of cars motorcycle bikes trucks etc and the roofs uh, of the uh, of the cage or ev everything which can produce from it so that's all thing will be produced from this iron so here we will uh, we will uh, make a squeeze to release the slag more to create the more impure original iron so that is the hard but still containing a little bit amount of carbon which that is the uh, which that is uh, uh, differentiate between the steel and iron so next video we will discuss about the uh, uh, steel process steel uh, steel manufacture process so here we will uh, we i hope you make sense about these videos thanks